we bring back an old favorite with the HK license KWA G36 in this episode of The Gear Guide. You know, sometimes the latest and greatest, well, isn't that great? Sometimes you have to take a look deep into the catalog to find that gem that's been overshadowed by the hot new gun of the moment or whatever it is. And that's why we're taking a look at the HK license G36C by Umarex and KWA. You know, for quite a few newer players out there, the base G36 is the first rifle they yearn for. But most are lured in eventually by the sirens called the M4 and it's all over from there. And because of this, many players miss out on what we here at Airsoftology really possibly think is one of the better built AEGs on the market today, and that's the KWA G36 that's licensed by Umarex. This G36 truly is a workhorse, and that's thanks to a combination of solid external stylings combined with the proven version 3 GX2 mech box by KWA. Inside with 9mm bushings and a reinforced mech box, this AEG can handle the factory installed M120 spring without missing a beat. And even with the short 247mm barrel, accuracy was surprisingly good in our tests, and we were able to hit man sized targets at 100 and 150 feet without any issue in both semi and full auto. Although it has a compact footprint, it's still pumping out around 390 FPS while keeping up a very healthy 23 rounds a second rate of fire on our test 11120C LiPo. And the LiPo lives up here in the handguard. Now one thing we noticed about the new 2013 version is that they went back to the small real spec handguards like the real G36 has versus the oversized handguard that could fit a large type battery that KWA used to use. Now, while you won't be able to fit those big batteries in this anymore, it's not a big deal since LiPos are now the norm in modern airsofting versus back in 2008 when the original version was released and no one was running a LiPo on the field hardly at all. Now, to balance out the rate of fire of the LiPo, they included a translucent polymer 470 round high cap in the box, but we also found that Ares, Classic Army, and Mag brand mags all fit and fed without any issue at all. So if you've got a collection of G36s and you're looking to upgrade to the KWA, if you're not, your mags will carry over just fine. You know, externally, this is probably one of the most solid airsoft guns that have ever crossed our workbench. I mean, you will be hard pressed to find even a millimeter of wobble in this thing, which is extremely rare on any airsoft rifle, but especially considering that this thing is almost entirely made of polymer. The only exceptions are the front rails, the sling attachment points, the sight, barrel, and fire selector. Everything else is polymer. And speaking of the fire selector, this thing is crisp. It doesn't have the slop that a lot of other G36s in the market have. It goes into its mode and it stays there, which we really liked. Now, the only thing about the polymer design is the top rail is made of polymer, which is kind of a bummer. We'd like to have seen that metal, but it's not a deal breaker since KWA uses a very high quality polymer in their builds. And you know, overall, we really can't think of too many things we don't like about the Umarex HK G36C by KWA. You know, it really checks all the boxes. It has licensed trades, strong externals, solid FPS performance, and a year warranty from Umarex, which is a major bonus. And it all comes in an extremely compact package. So if you're in the market and looking for a G36 upgrade, or just a fantastic starter gun, or perhaps just something unique to add to the collection, take a look at the G36C by KWA, licensed by Umarex.